Oh 
That sounded good, Sister Pat. Yes. We're a little happy. Sounds good. Yes. Hallelujah. Three forty-five. Where could we go, Jesus? Where could we go? Amen. Without Jesus, where would we be? All right, my Lord. That's it. Lord, tell us the God of glory. I heard you. Lord, I'm coming to the glory of you. You are my deliverer. Oh, Jesus is hot. Glory to you, Lord. Oh, come, Lord, special power. Thank you. Oh, you praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Leave me alone in this
Praise the Lord. Gloria, gloria a Dios. Aleluya. There's a lot God in me.
Sister Jackie tonight. Amen. Praise Praise God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. I thank Hallelujah. him for walking in the newness of life. Amen. Amen. I thank him because he took a lot of hate and hateful away from me. Amen. Oh, I thank him because I'm not jealous of nobody, and I thank God for that. I just thank you for being born again in the spirit. Born again. Oh, Amen. Amen.
should be enough to bring you in to serve God today. Amen. Because I tell you what, people, we ain't got laws on this world. God is coming back. And if you're not ready, he's not going to take you. You have to be ready in Jesus. Amen. Amen. So please, I'm begging. I'm not asking. I'm begging. If you're not a Christian tonight, give your heart to God. Amen. You know, I sang a song earlier called uh, The Landing Lights. And it's the second verse. goes something like, should I leave tomorrow? Just promise me this. Among those who be going, your name's on the list. For it would not be heaven should I go alone. So be sure and ask the captain, who is Jesus, to turn your lights on. Always give God the glory for everything that goes on in your life. And I know, oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm sorry for all that pressure me to... God knows. God knows. I just want to see all of you up there with me. I tell you, I ain't going to let this old world be Amen. I'm going to go up there and I won't see my mom and dad. They may be my brother and sister there, but I want to see them. And if anybody knows that's had a mom and dad that served God, that's gone. You just can't wait to see him no more. And I know Brother Herschel's dad was a good Christian man, good man of God. I know you still miss him. Yes, so do I. And I wouldn't be playing the guitar and singing if my mom hadn't, uh, you know, been there. <laughs> you know, she might have had to put the uh, Board of Education on the seat of learning a couple times but I had to learn and mom taught me all these songs that I sang God taught me mama taught me and my daddy taught me but you know what most of all Jesus taught me Amen. and that's the best thing oh ever because you see when I learned to play the guitar I was 14 years old and I've never picked up a guitar before then. And mom said one night in church, she says, I want you to start playing and me to be just be singing and holding the mic in my hand. Amen. Within three months, mom got what she wanted. Amen. I started playing. She started put, standing there holding the mic in her hand. Praise God. And I tell you what, you, Lord, if it hadn't Lord. been for Mama, Thank you, Amen. I did not know the Lord, Amen. Brother Gary. I did not Amen. know the Lord. Jesus, I love you and I pray for you, Lord. You know, I got a, I I got a, a picture at my house, you, and it's you. got these, this Mama home. Bear holding the hands of their, her two cubs. Yeah, and and the sign God. says, Mother's right on the hearts of their children, things the world can never erase. And when my mama taught me about Jesus, Amen. that can't be erased, Brother Herschel. Yeah. That can't Lord. be erased. And we got to right. give him all the praise. Glory. Praise Go ahead, Lord. brother. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, what, what's going on? I want to see if I can remember this. Maybe I can. Let's see if I can. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you. Lord. Thank you. Do it in C. Is that all right? Now, I, I know you probably know this old, this old number. Get it in the right key here. I've got a mansion just over the hill in that bright land where we'll never grow old and someday
say at the end of the night, I say bye. He goes, don't say bye. It's so long because I will see you at the end. And I keep telling my wife that I want this on my tombstone. Alan Jackson calls it my farewell party, but you may call it a funeral. But when you come, before you leave, before you say bye, just remember these final words of mine. Don't threaten me. over the word tonight if you would Jesus hallelujah thank you Lord yes Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord Brother, Brother Ray, and we reverence him, and all of the ministers here tonight, and 
the singers and all of you. Praise the Lord. We, we lift you up in the name of Jesus. And we are glad to see you tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. The service has been. How many of you have enjoyed? Amen. 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 So I just. Tried that last one we were doing. I didn't get the words out. I'm not sure if I've even got the words, but so I messed up a few lines. But oh, you did it good. Maybe that'll be all right. But it's a very old number. I got a mansion. Well, I know we're not probably not worried about a mansion if we make it. Amen. We will probably be happy. Ever how it is, but the song goes way, way back. Oh, very wonderful great. writer, very wonderful that wrote many great songs that were sung over the years and now maybe they've passed on oh, through the manner of time. Man. But Ira Stanfield, so many good numbers. One of them we put on Facebook a week or two ago. We'll talk it over in the by and by. Amen. Mansion over the hilltop, there's room at the cross for you. There's so many, so many good numbers, and uh, we just thank God for those people that uh, spent their time and obeyed the Lord and uh, wrote so many wonderful words and perhaps scripture and teaching unto us through song and were such a blessing. And I can remember even when I was real young that that song was being uh, sung and, and uh my mom and dad, we would be riding along and, uh, you know, on our way to church or wherever we were going, and they would be singing. They would be singing a song like, I've got a mansion over the hilltop. Praise the Lord, and we thank God tonight for you. We like to always say that we thank God for the ministry. Amen. Because... Without leaders, you know, the battle would probably surely be lost. And you know, I was thinking on the way driving here tonight that, you know, directions that you get from perhaps just anywhere may not always be right. There are directions that you may find that take you the wrong way. So I give honor and I thank God for our pastors, for the apostles, for the evangelists, for the teachers. And is there one more? Bishops. Lord. What for the perfecting? Praise God. And you know, when they are teaching me out of this word, I know I've got the right direction. Amen. Can you say amen? amen? So thank God for those pastors, those teachers, the apostles, the evangelists. Amen. Missionaries. 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 Missionaries too, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Missionaries, praise the Lord. And tonight we we may do more reading than we than we do talking or commenting. Uh, the word is so complete as it is. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And we you know, we embellish the word. We admonish the word. Uh, you know, we we exalt and we exhort. Amen. You know, in Jesus. Uh, we give reverence. We give honor unto, unto such an awesome, mighty God. And uh, we just appreciate and look back on those that 
have been a light. Without them, Brother Rich, maybe it would be hard to think of where we could be. Right, bless the Lord. I know my dad understood the calling of the Lord and was such a willing worker. And my mother that was very strong in Jesus, very strong in the word and what she believed and would not compromise, but would feed you probably till you couldn't hardly get up. Now you would not tell her something wrong about what's written in the Word. <laughs> but she would let you know, praise the Lord, what the Word said and how she believed and what she saw in Jesus. And tonight, you know, perhaps our our greatest thing that we may be able to comprehend and to fathom is we we now are the body. And I know that it may just sound maybe just such a small word, so maybe simple. But when you really think about what this is, and I was thinking when the saints became the church, and then the church became the body. Amen. And the body was given the mission of doing what Jesus did Amen. when he was here. Amen. And that will never change Amen. until perhaps we see him in glory. Amen. Amen. And we're in a place where a day will never end. Darkness will never fall. Amen. Well, they say the flowers will never fade. I don't know if there will be any there or not. Maybe some of the prettiest ones will bloom. And as the saints became the church, and the church became the body, and the body took on the facsimile of Jesus Christ our Lord amen. walking again upon amen. this earth. Can you say amen? amen? And as the Spirit fell upon the day of Pentecost, and the Spirit filled all of those that were in the upper room, that, that rushing mighty wind, Hallelujah, that blew, blew in and filled them. Yes. Praise the Lord. And they spake in other tongues as God, Brother Nelson, gave them the utterance. Yes. And they spake with new tongues. Yes. Praise the Lord. And they were filled. Hallelujah. Yes. And I believe the saints yes. became the church. And the church became the body. And the body was filled with the power. The body was filled with the spirit. The body was anointed. The body had a calling. And the body was sent on a mission. Yes. And Jesus returned. And we, we became in his place the greatness of what he was. Amen. And I, I rather way, I, I was looking at the scripture of how, how the apostles 
I can find this. I, I don't have everything written down real well, but in in the book of Acts. The book of Acts, the fifth chapter, and, and the twelfth verse. We're going to read this. And then, Brother Mike, we're going to read something about Jesus. We're going to read something about the apostles. Then we're going to read something about Jesus. And in the twelfth verse of the fifth chapter, it says, By the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people, and they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Amen. And of the rest, durst no man join himself to them, but the people magnified them. And believers were the more added to the Lord, multitudes both of women, insomuch that they brought forth the sick into the streets, Amen. Amen. And lay them on beds and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. Amen. There came also a multitude out of the cities round about unto Jerusalem bringing sick folks, sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirits now I want us all to read, if you've got your Bible there, the 16th after that colon. Read it with me. And they were healed every one. Some of them. Some of them. Every one. And they were healed. Every one. Now let's look at Matthew 4 and 23. Maybe we got it right. Maybe we got it written down right. 4 and 23. Matthew. Now this is Jesus. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all, some, no. all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Turn on over to the book of Luke. Go over just a couple of books from there and go to the fourth chapter. And look at the 40th verse. Luke 4 and 40. Now that, now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Every one of them and healed them. Amen. Praise the Lord. He sent us now into all the world Amen. to preach the gospel. Heal the sick. Sign would follow the believer. Praise the Lord. And people may not believe in deliverance, they may not believe in healing. They may not believe what God can do. But I'll tell you unto us that believe, it will follow them. Amen. Praise the Lord. It will follow those that believe. So as we say, the saints, I believe those that were there, 
the church as it was born on the day of Pentecost. Can you say amen? amen. As a spirit. And the life, Brother Tony, entered into those people. And that became the church. Because I'll tell you, it doesn't take a body, not a building, we're saying, not a building in that sense. Amen. Brother Rich, it takes a body of people to have a church. Amen. And praise the Lord when the Spirit fell there at Pentecost and they were filled with the power of God Amen. that they would go forth and do what Jesus had done. Lord. Yes. As we're saying, if, if we think that just to say I'm, I'm in the body, I believe I'm in the body, you are saying I am willing, I am trying, I am seeking, I am working, I am desiring to do what he did and even more. I'm sorry, sis. I am desiring to do what he did. I believe I will do more. Brother Nelson, I will answer him because he is there and I am here. And I am in his place. Amen. Where he was, I am now. Where he walked, I walk now. And the things he did, I got a big job. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't want to boast. I just want to say that we are trying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you, saints believe. When a group of people in that upper room, Brother Ray, yes. Pastor, when they became the church. Yes. Lord, yes. Hallelujah. And then the church became the body. The form of Jesus yes. himself yes. walking on this yes. earth yes. as he did. And yes. we fulfill, praise the Lord, the works that Jesus did. Amen. He left, he left us. He gave us such a great responsibility. And as you've heard perhaps many different times, we everyone, everyone. Everyone, all of us inclusive, we have a ministry. We are called into the ministry of reconciliation. Every one of us, you just heard it probably last weekend from, from the evangelist. I'll call him an evangelist. I guess that's perhaps what he goes by. The singers that were here and the ministry that was done. And as he reminded us and perhaps read the word that we are in the ministry of reconciliation now. Yes. We are reconciling, Amen. reconciling those Hallelujah. back under Christ, Amen. aren't we? Praise God. Brother Rich telling you, Brother Rich talking and telling you, if you don't know the Lord, yes. if you feel weak, if you feel left out, if you feel cold, or if you just want to grow. Amen. If you want to say, Lord, pour it out on me. Pour it out on me. That body. Let's go over to the first book of Corinthians. And the 12th chapter. I don't know how much we will get through on this, but we were saying we were probably going to read. So, Brother Nelson, we try to get to that now. <laughs> the 12th chapter, the first book of Corinthians. And as I say, we are still working around that he is gone. <coughs> 
as he was then. But he's back. Praise the Lord in all the power and the anointing and the feeling and the gifts and the signs and the wonders. Brother Rick, the anointing, hallelujah, that stirs your soul and makes you want to tell someone that they need Jesus more than anything in this world. Brother Ray, that you have a call of the pastorship. And as we work in the ministry and think about the evangelists and the apostles, the teachers, amen, everyone that is working in the Lord, the pastors. Let's look at this chapter. And just remember, he sent the conqueror because we had to be like him. We couldn't be close. Brother Rich, we couldn't just be happy. Amen. Brother Nelson, maybe we couldn't just jump every now and then and feel good. Sister Patsy, you know, we, we couldn't just be filled with joy. You know, I don't believe Jesus ran on joy. He didn't run off water. He didn't just run on the word. He had the spirit. He had the power. He had the infillment. Amen. The Father was inside of him, and he was doing a work that no man could be called to do, Brother Rich. We can't be close. Tony, we can't be almost alive. We can't be, I know that we favor a lot. But you know, we couldn't just favor Jesus. We couldn't just favor who he was. We couldn't just act like him. He sent the comforter. Yeah. Brother Ray, he sent the comforter. Yeah. He sent the comforter. He yeah. sent the spirit. Yeah. He sent the power and the anointing yeah. that we could do what he did. Yeah. You can't take two cars, Mike, and take half of the stuff out of one and put it up against the other one and think they'll be the same. They won't do the same thing. They won't act the same way. And they'll never be the same. But I'll tell you, when you take two of them, they have everything inside of them just alike. Brother Rich, they will be the same. They can perform the same. They can do the same thing, brother. And that's the way we are. I'm sorry, I know you're... Going crazy with that camera. I, 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 can't, I can't be still. I... <coughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you Jesus sent back what he had that we might be like him. Do you understand? He sent the Spirit and the anointing, Sister Mary, that I would not be close. But I could do the works Glory. and even more, yeah. Sister Glory. Jackie, yeah. than what he did. Yeah. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles carried away under these dumb idols even as you were led. Wherefore I give you to understand that no man, speaking the Spirit of God, calleth Jesus accursed. It's not going to happen. And that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord, but by the Holy yes. Ghost. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sister Mary, it's, 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 it's very, it's very well defined. It is very well defined. Praise the Lord that this spirit that he promised unto them. Go ye into all the world, those that believe. Amen. The signs would follow. We would do great things. 
He said, now there are diversities of gifts, but the same spirit. There are differences of administration, but what? The same Lord. God. That's what makes a body. That's what makes us a body. That, that's what makes us, when, when we read this, we'll go on a little further as we read this. I hope that we can get done tonight. And there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which worketh all. In all. Now I don't have one person that has filled me and you don't have another person or another God that has filled you. You don't have one brother Ray that is teaching you. I don't have a different one sister Patsy that is teaching me. But praise the Lord. We are all filled with that self same spirit and it works all in all and it works the same brother Rich. You know what we want to do? Let's try our greatest, our hardest to show love like the world has never seen. Amen. Amen. But in the but the manifestation of the Spirit, it is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given the Spirit of the Spirit, the word of wisdom. Amen. By the Amen. Spirit, I'm sorry. To another. What did it say? The word of knowledge by the same spirit. Amen. To another, faith by the same spirit. Amen. To another, the gifts of healing by the same spirit. Praise the Lord. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. Amen. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, divers kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these, let's say all these. All these. All these. All these. All these. Glory. Praise the Lord. Worketh that one and what? The self same spirit. Dividing to every man severally as he will. Amen. For as the body, what? Is one. See, Jesus. Jesus had a body. The word of the almighty God. Let me tell you, saints. A word of an almighty God became flesh. Yes. And, and, and the angel called him Jesus. Yes. And, and I, I can't find where any other angel came back and changed it. There was only one. There was an angel that came, Brother Rich, named him Jesus. And he had one body. He didn't mean for us be all divided and all split up, Brother Don. But praise the Lord, he desires that the love and the fellowship. Praise the Lord and the operations of the Spirit would be in one. And we are that body. Yes. And as I say, you know, when we started, we, we realized that People might say, I'm, I, I, I'm in the body. I'm in the body. Say, hey. hey. <laughs> you think about what that means? Do you think where, about what you're saying? If you say, I am in the body, and we know that in that body, Came healing. Yes. Came deliverance. Yes. Yes. He took the man that could not be bound, Sister Patsy. Yes. They couldn't bind him with chains. No. 
Not an ass of any left among the rocks. They cannot bind him. Jesus set him free. Can you say amen? Amen. Jesus set him free. Praise the Lord. In that body. In that body. There was healing. Hallelujah. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's go. try to get right on through Let this me. and then we're going to let you go. But I hope this is all right with you. All, right. all the members, that 12th verse, all the members of that one body being many are one body. So also, what did I just say? So also is Christ. One body. Amen. Uh, just Bound in unification of the spirit. And 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 the works that that were performed as he healed the multitudes. When they came, he healed them all. When they had diseases, he healed them all. The afflictions, all of them, and the apostles, they healed everyone. We know that you're probably all familiar with the scripture. What did they say? They took aunt, the handkerchiefs or, and maybe the aprons, perhaps the aprons and the handkerchiefs and and they tore them up and and through that healing, yep. amen, came forth. Yeah. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body. Praise the Lord. Whether we be Jews or Gentiles, listen. Whether we be bond or free and have been all made to drink into one spirit. God. Praise, God. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise now, God. We, now we get to the good part. <laughs> Brother Nelson, maybe now we'll get to the good part. <laughs> For the body is not one member, but many. If the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I am not of the body. It is therefore not of the body. No. Still great. I've told this different times. I think they said when some of the soldiers perhaps were in some of the most freezing, perhaps the worst places that they could be. Their feet would freeze and they would lose their toes. And I'm going to tell you what I've heard. When that happened, Brother Don, they could not stand up. Tony, when they would lose their toes. So you may just think, oh, <coughs> how significant is that? Right. And Brother Rich, people might say, I don't mean a whole lot over there, and you know, they'll, they won't miss me. Saints, we are all part of a body. Yes. Amen. 
I must stop a fingernail <coughs> closing the door of my trunk. And that's been quite a while back. And it, it's, it's grown out to where it's almost finished. And Brother Don, it just seemed like it stopped. And it's on my index. In other words, my main lead finger on my right hand. And I'm going to tell you to try to pick up a penny or a toothpick or a wrist or a guitar pick. Just that way. And, and when they would lose their toes, they could not stand up. The soldier had no balance. And I'll tell you, believe me, we are all, we are all important members. I hope I'm not holding you too long. I'm sorry if I am. And if the ear shall say, 16th verse, I'm sorry, I lost my place there. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? Still is. Still is. If the whole body were an eye, now listen to this. Where were the hearing? If everybody just wanted to see what was coming and didn't want to listen to what the word is saying, what kind of a church would it be? Amen. If the whole were hearing, where were the smelling? And now have God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. So, you know, don't get weary in well-doing. <laughs> we will probably never, we will never be in a big theater playing, you know, I mean, preaching. Brother Rich, we may never have a lot of recognition, you know what I mean? I mean, you may, but I probably will. God set, but now hath God set the members, every one of them, in the body as it hath pleased him. So, Sister Patsy, you go on and you give your testimony and you preach when God anoints you. Just say, Lord. You have set me here. Yes, praise God. And I'm going to obey your will. Amen. Amen. I'm going to bring forth your word. Praise Amen. God, yes. When you anoint me, Glory. Amen. I have a part in the body. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Glory. Yes. Some of us may never be great in the way that. We think we, we want to be, Brother Ray. Don't be weary in well-doing. I'm going to tell you right now. You are part of the body. Amen. Praise the Lord. We don't all have to be the same part. But praise His holy name. We are a part. And we are significant. And we are loved. And we are set in the body. We have a part. He put us there. Amen. And Brother Rich, no one can take it away. That's right. Brother Nelson, no matter how small we may feel, we never may never go on a big field or know a lot of important people. Sister Peggy just keeps singing those songs. Just go right ahead. 
Say, Jesus, yes. you put me in the body, yes. and I'm going to do my part. Can you say amen? Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Praise the Lord. Sister Mary, when we testify, Glory today. Glory. we are occupying. Yes. And he said, occupy until I come. Till I come. Till I come. Yes. Praise the Lord. We've got an occupation. And we occupy. Because we fulfill the will that God has called us to do. Brother Ray, you are fulfilling a mission. You are fulfilling the ministry of reconciliation. You are fulfilling the body of leading the people. Praise the Lord. I'm sorry about that camera. I'm telling you. You're fine. Um, I think one of the ministers, one time he got up on the evangelist and he said, I, he said, I, I think the ministers should keep their jacket on, you know, till at least till they start preaching. I think I told the people over there at the, the Broadway church, I said, listen. I can't hurt to keep my tie on sometime until we get through the sing. <laughs> Talking about a coat. That's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, Sometimes you wonder exactly what kind of a picture Sister Patsy they've got of Jesus yeah. in their mind. Yes. Like I've told oh, people, brother Bobby Ray. Knuckles used to come in. I'm going to tell you about it now. It wasn't very long. He had his oh, shoes off. He God. had holes in his socks. And he was shot all over the place okay. in his socks. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you one night when the power went out. He drove an old Dolly Madison pie truck. And we didn't have any power in that building. It was dark. Bobby Knuckles went out and he got that battery out from under the hood. He took a headlight out. He set it up on the Bible stand. He hooked up the headlight and we went on with church. Praise God. I'll tell you, maybe we need more days and nights like that again. I remember one night over there we had already packed everything up and I think I had put it, some stuff in the trunk and maybe all of it was there. And Brother Ray, it might have been about 9.30. We hadn't had seemed like much of a service. It just seemed like we just had a service. Just a fact that we, we were ready to go on. I guess we had done the best we could do and we were going to go ahead. Someone got up in the spirit of the Lord, began to get all over them, and they began to move in the spirit of Jesus. They began to preach and they testified and bring us the word. And you know what? It wasn't very long. Here the door came open. I was bringing my guitar back in. Brother Rich, I was bringing my amplifier back in, and I'm going to tell you about 10 o'clock that night. I believe Broadway on 55th there, whatever it was, we had church. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 When the saints realize they are the church, and the church realizes they are more than a building, we are more than a group, we are more than just a gathering. We are a body. We are the yes. body. We are the one now that does the work. Yes. Amen. Yes. Good brother. I'm going to try to get finished here. I really am, saints. I, they'll call me long-winded from now on. <laughs> Let me read this 18 verse again one more time. I'll tell you this is just for but now God has set the members, every one of them, in the body, what? As it Say it as it, as it hath pleased, pleased. him. Yeah. 
as it hath pleased him. See, you don't have to complain anymore. Now that's all over and done. <laughs> we just close that up tonight. We just told that we're going to fold the paper. One fellow at work years ago, I remember, I guess I'd never heard of this. He said, well, we we had a, a fire, I guess they they burned the mortgage. I thought, well, huh. I don't know exactly what that is. They burned the mortgage. So I guess over the years, and I think I got a little bit older, still just about as dumb, but now maybe I just know how to act better. But anyway, <laughs> I guess Brother Richmond, they would get together, and when you made the last payment, sis, you know, you had the mortgage that had all of the loan information or whatever that was, and, and when you paid it off, they, well, I'd never heard of such a silly thing. They burned the mortgage. Well, I'm going to tell you, if you are worried about who you are and where you fit and what you would like to be, just close that book and burn it. You don't have to worry about it at all. You don't have to worry. As he said, as it hath pleased him. Here's another one. Well, do we, you know, don't worry. Don't worry in that. Don't, don't worry in that. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet one body? Let's just give the Lord a hand. Let me just read a few more verses and we will try to close. I, I, I mean it, Brother Ray. I'm not. And the, the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee. Nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble. Uh-oh. Well, I guess this is where I come in. <laughs> those that are feeble. All right. Those that are feeble are necessary. <laughs> so see, we all have a part. Amen. But I believe God can renew you daily. He can regenerate you daily. Yes. Praise the Lord. You can be recreated daily, translated, transformed. Those members of the body which we think to be less honorable upon these, we bestow more abundant honor, and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness, for our comely parts have no need, but God hath tempered the body together. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lacked. All right, I'm going to close this. There's a few more verses of that chapter. You can read them later if you want. Let's stand. Glory. Lord, pray the glory. Amen. Thank you.